like a bow. All right, look, I don't usually like to teach these kind of things, but people ask me this too much. And I recommend you guys, if you're gonna do this, make sure you do this on the, on the right people because some people are very vindictive and they have very long memories and they will try to get revenge on you years later, all right? So be careful who you do this and know your clientele, all right? But I usually recommend getting over them, but if you guys are that persistent with this question, let's get started. I right, look, let me show you how to make anybody regret losing you, all right? Um, look, especially if this guy, um, look, first things first. If he, this is for if he dumped you or if you dumped him, all right? And you want him to, and you want him to regret losing you, right? First things first, men always come back. They always come back, right? The second thing is that don't block people. It looks emotional. Only block people when you can't emotionally deal with it. But generally, blocking is petty. It, it gives away all your power, right? Especially if you're looking, if you're doing it to get a response. So don't block people. The next thing is that there are two reasons that you got your ass got dumped. One, you were too needy. You were either one emotionally weak, or two, he you were not attracted to him anymore. Why were you weak emotionally? You were reactive to him. You were too emotional, too many LOLs, too many ha-has. You were too there for him, too available. And, uh, and, the, and the unattractive part isn't just that you are unattractive. It's just that, one, you had to let, let yourself go. Or two, you were too familiar to him. And, and it's almost like any drug. The more you take that drug, the more acclimated you're going to be by it. So you're not, you don't give him that same reaction no more. So the solution to this is very simple. One, space. Right? And you saying no and keeping that distance. That shows strength. Right? So you show strength by not contacting him first. Right? You show strength by when he does contact you, you're polite. Right? You're, you're, you're polite but distant. So the way you do that is you take a motherfucking long time to respond to that nigga. You take a long time to You take like a two or three days. But you respond in a very polite way. You say, hey, how are you? Hope your day's going well. Anyways... Have a great day. Like, if he does contact you, you do respond a few days later, but you don't ask a question. You just say, hey, not much, getting worked out, have a productive day. And you leave it at that. You just leave it at that. You know, you don't ask him what he's up to. You, you, you just respond in a polite way, but you take days to respond. But because you're responding in such a happy way, he can't say you're doing that just to, you know, it's like, it's so passive aggressive. It, 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 and that annoys people. And that kind of annoyance hurts guys egos trust me i fucking hate that shit all right so so that's one thing right um so you show strength by emotionally not being affected by him letting him have the last word right if he says fuck you man we're done you if somebody dumps you don't ask why don't ask why let them go right that's your strength that's show if you're not if you don't ask why it shows strength I'm telling you, you show strength. You can be like, what the fuck? Not, why are you so happy too? Right? I remember the one time. Yeah. Never mind. The next one is pre-selection. Right? You see, you got to put guys in a sexually competitive state. Most women want to satisfy their men so much that not satisfy their men so much. They want to hide the attention that other guys give them that the guys are not in a sexually competitive state. They, don't, they, they have no threat. So you got to put up that in their hearts. So how you do that, you have a social life of abundance. So if you don't have a social life of abundance, just take a, just say, take a salsa class. Take a jiu-jitsu class and start posting it. That's one thing I would recommend you post. Post your classes. So post it on Instagram. Don't, that's why I said don't block them. So post those things on your Instagram. Um, and then people being around you. And I can promise you by just doing that, he's going to assume shit. He's going to assume shit. You don't have to be direct. You don't have to show a, a, a photo of you shaking hands with a dude and shit. No, just, just make sure you show that you're doing things. And people will fill, fill in the blank. Right? So if he still... So, so the next thing is always hitting the gym. Right? Always getting in shape. I'm telling you, that shit... A guy's number one... Be, it's funny. A guy... The way that guy gets over a woman is that if she gets fat. I am not kidding with you. At least younger guys. That's why guys, how younger guys do it. And guys in general, the uglier you get, the more, not uglier, the more you don't take care of yourself, the easier it, it'll, it'll be for me to, to get over you. And when you, and when you get bad, I'm going to show you to my friends and say, hey, look, I got over there. Look at her. Like, I'm telling you people do that shit. Right? 
But don't or advertise it. Also, don't advertise that you go to the gym, though, because that's so obvious. Don't tell people you go into the gym. Just, just let the results show, all right? Let him be like, what the fuck? She's been working out, right? Now, when he does come back, right, and he wants you to return to him, if he says, hey, baby, let's give it a try, just say, I don't know about this. If he says, why? Just say, I just, didn't like, I, just, I just don't like your personality, to be quite honest with you. Thinking back, I don't like your personality, right? And that's how you're going to end it. If he ever comes back, just say you don't like his personality and don't tell him why you don't like his personality and then ghost him. That shit is evil shit, man. That shit will fuck with people. He will never know why. That shit will fuck with people. I am telling you that if he's an insecure person and he comes back and then you say, I don't want you because of your personality and you don't give him a reason why, it's something that he cannot change and that blind spot will fucking annoy him for many years if he's that insecure. All right? All right, ladies. This is Alex from Mindful Attraction. This is some evil video, man. This is evil. I don't want you guys to do this shit, man, because you don't want to fuck with the wrong guy, man. Some guys are violent. Some guys you just don't fuck with. Some of you guys are not going to pay attention to me, all right? All right, ladies. This is Alex from Mindful Attraction. If you need coaching, you know where to go. I have monthly coaching. What the fuck? I have monthly coaching, people. So go check it out. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is Natural Chemistry. This course is a five-week course, five-week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over the third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I could promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're gonna love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right. I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.